What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today is another road race and this road race was literally the following day from the last video. So like I said in the last video, that was Portsmouth North End road race, got fourth in that and I went so deep, I was an absolute shell. Well I'm red. So the next day, ah, uh, I was still a bit of a shell. I was feeling better, I'd recovered fairly well. Uh, you know, I'd done everything, I'd eaten like all the calories, literally all the calories, I'd eaten everyone. Uh, so I'd recovered okay, but obviously after that effort, I wasn't going to be feeling great. And it was funny because this race had like half people who'd done the race before, the day before, and then half people who were fresh. So yeah, it's a little bit tricky, but uh, yeah, it's a good fun race and uh, run the footage. Whoa, wait, but first the SIS gel flavor of the week this week is an elixir. Now, if you watch Witcher, you'll know what I mean. If you don't, this is going to be like, what the hell? You didn't come here for my art skills, so just play the clip. What one word would you use to describe the race that's coming up in about 15 minutes? It's going to be windy, right? It's going to be windy as fuck. Uh, are you looking forward to it? Yeah, it should be good fun. <laughs> have you recovered from yesterday? No, no I have not. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you like this course, though. Um, I'm not sure if I like it. I've done it fairly well. Okay. So we'll see. Looking out for the crosswinds? <laughs> There's no looking out, they'll be there the whole time. <laughs> so some details about the race. This was 130 kilometers long and only 1500 meters of elevation compared to the 2500 of the day before. So uh, a much nicer circuit. However, there was a fair amount of wind, not quite as cross windy as it can be. The angle wasn't quite right, but the group of three got away pretty early on. The few chases and not long after, it swelled and a big group formed. I saw the group go, I knew, I knew that was the one. I didn't want to react immediately because on the flat, if you attack and you've got a Conti jersey on, it's, it's pretty hard to get a gap sometimes. So I thought I'll wait till the climb and I'll snap across. The gap was too big, I, I couldn't snap across. And I got to this point and I was like, oh, uh, you know, hoping some people can bridge across and we can bridge together, but no, people were just chasing me down and then, uh, that sort of stalled it there. So unfortunately, just after my big group, my big attack, half a lap later, a second a bridge group ended up going clear. So uh, that was the second group, missed that one. Pretty frustrated, but you know, it is what it is. So we now got two groups up the road, here's the front group. And uh, yeah, the gap just kept getting bigger and bigger. But the second group was still in sight. So we had a bit of impetus in the main peloton, tried to get some things rolling. There was a few guys keen to work, but a lot of guys, some were sandbagging, some were just a bit roasted and uh yeah so here's the front group coming into the last lap damien on the attack and uh yeah seeing what goes on two laps to go so just here me and a couple other guys had put in a big dig big attack here and uh, unfortunately the rest of the group who seemed like they were struggling just ended up pulling us back together anyway here's the finish front group ollie hux got the win and my mate sam in second after getting third the day before so that was a massive ride for him clearly it recovered well and uh, I decided feeling a lot better towards the end of the race, put in a few attacks, but uh, couldn't quite get anywhere, frustratingly, but it's all good. Just a nappy, so a good bit of training, especially after yesterday, and uh, picked up the bunch of kick for 20th. Absolute classic. Sprint felt pretty good in the end, actually, so that was quite nice. So not the best result in the end, got 20th, got that one British cycling point, so everyone counts, and uh, you know, Good day of training, especially that double whammy weekend. It was, uh, yeah, it was a good day on the bike. I did have a teammate, Matt, who was actually in the main break at the front of the race. And I think he might have even initiated one of the moves to get across, but unfortunately he punctured. So that was a bit frustrating for him. Uh, otherwise I'm sure he would have got a really good result too. So like I said, towards the end of the race, I actually felt really good on the bike. There was a middle section where I felt really ropey. The day before caught up with me and I was just like, you know, just trying to stay in the group. And then, you know, the race progressed on and uh, keep eating and the legs loosened up and I felt really good so like I said um, was really happy with the sprint and uh, yeah definitely a good sign of how my form is progressing with the year. My next race will be the Pan American Championships in San Juan Argentina so keep an eye out for that so I'll try and get some good vlog content on that. It's really stressful so there might not be a huge amount of content you know booking all the flights and all the travel on my own. It's been a little bit difficult but we'll make it happen 
And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that race and hopefully I can pull out a result. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like and comment and all that good stuff. And thanks for watching.